Hey there, my name's Tom Conrad. I'm the host of Real Recovery Talk podcast. That's a podcast dedicated to everything addiction. In this video, I want to discuss helping you understand addiction a little bit better. And maybe you have some sort of addiction tendencies, or maybe you're heading in that direction or a loved one is. After watching this video, you'll have a better understanding and you will know if that is maybe something that you're going to struggle with in the future. Now, the first thing is that I want you to recognize is how much of your resources are you putting towards your, let's just call it a guilty pleasure for this video, because we're not fully bought in that we're an addict, but we have some guilty pleasures. Maybe we do it too much. Drinking, drugging, sex, food, shopping, all these things can be developed into an addiction. Now, how much resources am I devoting towards this? How much money am I spending towards this said guilty pleasure? Am I pawning things for this said guilty pleasure? Am I maybe stealing or taking money from people or my parents or whatever? How much resources are you devoting towards this? Are you putting your priorities on the back burner? Meaning maybe your rent, your car payment, your cell phone bill, whatever food in your stomach, you're putting that stuff on the back burner. So you're able to continue with whatever it is that you is your guilty pleasure. If it's drugs or alcohol or food or sex or whatever it is, that is something that you need to definitely take a look at. The second thing is the social aspect of it. Has your friends changed? Okay. Now when I know for myself, when I was drinking a lot, as my drinking progressed, my friends changed. The people that I were friends with when I wasn't drinking, they were no longer my friends whenever I started drinking more and more. And then as my drinking progressed, the more that I was able to drink, I needed to find friends that could keep up with me and that maybe drank a little bit more than me. That way, I was never as bad as them. And I was able to say, well, when I get that bad, then maybe I'll think about stopping. I no longer went to family functions that didn't involve alcohol. A lot of the things that I enjoyed doing, I never did anymore because I couldn't drink as much as I wanted to. I could still golf, but I couldn't like, there were no, there wasn't room for golf and drinking as much as I wanted to drink. A lot of the things that I took pleasure in, I no longer did because my drinking became the most important thing. So that's the second thing that I want you to take a look at. Now the third thing, and this is something that it can be the most crippling is the mental side of this all. How much of your mental capacity, how much, how much, how many hours out of the day are you thinking about this? Whatever it may be. Again, for myself, I woke up in the morning and I couldn't wait for the work day to be over because I knew that I could go straight to the bar and I would start my drinking and that was it. That's all I thought about. I never thought about anything else. I didn't think about my friends or my relationships or nothing. All I thought about was drinking. The mental side of it for me and for a lot of people that I've worked with is the hardest thing to deal with. So that's something that you definitely should take a look at is how much rent is being taken up here with this, whatever it is for you, if it's drugs and alcohol, again, sex or food or shopping, how much is it consuming in your brain? Now, you may have one, two, or three of these. You may have all of them. You may only have one, but the bottom line is, is that accepting the fact that you may have an issue, it's not a death sentence. It is an opportunity for you to grow. Accepting that there's a problem is the best thing that you can do for yourself and for everybody around you. It's the best opportunity for you to get better, to improve your life, to have this positive life transformation. We've spent years uh, not having a positive life transformation, actually having a negative impact on our life. Now it's time that we can reverse that. But the first thing that we have to do is recognize and accept that there is a problem. There is hope. I promise you, you can get through it. You just need to surround yourself with good people that can help you get through this process. Reach out for help and seek wise counsel with every decision that you make. My name's Tom. I'm the host of Real Recovery Talk Podcast. Thank you for watching.